Okay, so apparently Usher and Chris Brown get in an altercation at the motherfucking goddamn gay skate party. Oh! saying I was about to read this but my facts won't write but my fans in the comment section got them together so I'm gonna report what they're saying because it seems a bit plausible apparently Usher was throwing Chris Brown a skate party and Tiana Taylor was motherfucking goddamn gay invited right okay now Chris Brown and Tiana Taylor have a past beef from what my fans are reporting in the comment section as of right now so the fact that she was there would have caused some friction between Chris Brown and Tiana. Apparently, Usher was defending Tiana Taylor, and the altercation ended up going outside, right? So, after it went outside, Usher returns back into the party with the fucking bloody nose. Whoa! That's what I heard. Okay, and my fans are telling me I am correct in the comment section. Okay, let me go ahead and repeat what I said. Chris Brown has blocked me on Instagram. Okay. Yes, he did. Do it. <laughs> he has blocked me on Instagram. Don't have to worry about me. You and I find it ironic because I've said I wanted to fuck that man I don't know how many goddamn times, but the reason you blocked me was when I incorporated you in a reading with Rihanna. <laughs> okay. You didn't block me for wanting to fuck. You blocked me for talking about you and Rihanna. Okay. Okay, and I and that was a receipt I popped on reading that reading too. So, well, at least we know his motherfucking black ass is watching. Whoa! At least we know his motherfucking black ass is watching. Okay. Okay, so I saw footage of this stuff happening, okay? But right after that, Chris Brown got into another verbal altercation behind the stage at Lovers and Friends during Missy Elliott's performance. And I'm gonna put up a poll later on. Now, I'm gonna say this about Chris Brown. Chris Brown makes some real good fucking music. But Usher makes some real good fucking music too. Who would you rep? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Chris Brown. That's what I'm gonna go with. Whoa! I am. And the reason I say that is because um, his album that does not get enough credit, Graffiti, uh, came out during the time I really needed to hear that. And in a lot of ways, uh, it kept me afloat during college, you know. So, I'll, I'll give it to Chris. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I would give it to Chris, too, even though I butchered that song that is, like, so sentimental to me. Um, Chris Brown is not uh, foreign to violence. I mean, you know, this whole scandal with Rihanna that I actually had his back on because I feel like the Barbadian, uh, lovely individual of Rihanna provoked him. I mean, there's only but so much you can do to a man before he fucking snap and beat your motherfucking ass. But I don't believe in hitting women. I'm a gay boy. You know, some gay males, they fight women. I, I will never fight women. I, I will never I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. Okay, I would never put my hands on a woman. Women have tried to fight me. I would just call my sister who's a stud to whoop their ass and, you know, just go about your minutes. But I can understand how in a relationship, a woman has the ability to turn a man up and forget his moral code. I've seen it happen multiple times in my, in my, in my sessions, you know. Um, so I gave him the benefit of the doubt in that situation. Let's see if I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt in this situation. I have questions about this and it is time to motherfucking read Chris Brown. Uh, okay, so um, let's first start with the skate party. Oh, Lord, this smoke is about to get me again. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so let's see exactly what's going on down here with this written. So let's start with the skate party. What happened? Um, okay, this was entirely Usher's fault. Woo, that'll do it. <laughs> You don't have to worry about me. You do okay. not have to worry about me. <laughs> um, I'm going to put this on Usher. This is the person who was actually throwing this event. Um, I feel like Chris was caught off guard, but this is a card of, inst these two cards together is a card of instigation. I feel like Chris was hyped up to actually provoke a situation. And you got to keep in mind, these motherfuckers are celebrities. You know, so when you are in a place, when you have a beef, I mean, and your entourage is like, you going to just let her be here? You going to let Usher throw you a party and invite this chick you don't like? You know, he was hyped up to uh, actually bring this more vibrant than what it had to be. I mean, y'all could have just stayed on opposite sides of the room. However, Usher, with you throwing the party, did Usher know that they had drama? Uh, the Apprentice card shows up upright. Yes, but he cool with both of them, so he thought that they could put their differences aside. Usher, that was a mistake. You know, Chris Brown has a meaty, skinny penis. So meaty. So you know he was gonna get turned the fuck up. Did Usher really receive a bloody nose that night? The Nan card shows up upright. This is actually not true at all. Not today, Satan. Not today, neck. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Um, let's expand on the foundation here. Did Chris Brown actually have an altercation outside? This says that Chris Brown was outside, but the people that was causing the ruckus was his entourage. <laughs> Okay, so it goes outside and Chris's entourage is talking for Chris. Are they talking directly to Usher? Yes, they are. Boots Durango is upright. It's Usher's entourage outside. The Brandy card shows up uh, upright. This is no. Brandy operates alone. So he went outside to handle beef with Chris. Chris brought his entourage and things got rowdy when Chris's entourage turned up on Usher. Do I have that correct? The spirit card is upright. That is correct. That is correct. Usher's fault because why would you bring somebody I don't fuck with to my party that you throwing for me? Whoa. Okay, so no wonder Usher tried to play it off as if nothing actually occurred. Chris Brown was offended by you, Usher. Are they gonna repair this relationship? The head twister card shows up upright. I believe that it was repaired that night, but they're spinning it up for what? Publicity, just like the end of the Okay, so. Feel about all it is. The Ambrosia card is up. Why she don't give a fuck, honey? She don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana don't care. Care. Why did she go to this party? Faye Dunaway shows up upright. Some of her people wanted to go and see Chris Brown. <laughs> okay, so I feel like she was trying to be... This all deals with entourage. So the lesson in this shit is watch the company you fucking keep. Okay? And if I know anything about celebrity entourages, nine times out of ten, most of them, ho most of them hoes in your entourage is depending on you. Okay? Don't be swayed by everybody else's expectations for how you should behave at a particular event. If you were a class person, you see somebody you don't like, you eat the birthday cake, take a couple of pictures, and go on back your motherfucking business. That's what you should have done. Chris, that's what you should have done, right? But Usher, you, in my opinion, Usher, you shouldn't have even... Everybody wrong. Usher, you shouldn't have invited Tiana, and Tiana, you shouldn't have shown up. Why didn't you just call Usher and say, hey, I got some homegirls going and want to see Chris? You didn't have to go. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, there is no such thing as bad publicity, and these stars are definitely, they spun it up for drama, and now everybody is talking about Chris, Usher, and nobody really stopped talking about Tiana because you've been getting it right every single time you step out the fucking house. Oh, no On with this verbal altercation uh, at the Lovers and Friends. Again, this is entourage shit. Bro, this is dealing with people that you're surrounding yourself with, Chris. Okay, Chris, do you realize who you are? Like, the doppelganger card is upright. This card is alluding to the fact that I feel like he's stuck in an age of immaturity. Uh, you got to keep in mind, he became successful at, what, 14, 15, 16? And there is, like, a stop of maturing when the world becomes your oyster that young. I feel like you might be a slight bit impressionable behind the scenes, Chris. And I feel like you need to watch the company that you fucking keep, okay? I feel like somebody in your entourage heard somebody say something about you. They start turning up. Next thing you know, you turning up to say, 
face for the people that are with you. And the next thing you know, Missy Ellie is on stage at Lovers and Friends talking about something. Wait a damn minute. Okay. Uh, Chris, do better. Next story. Oh! Next story. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, and then we do have something from Bob from Channel 8 dealing with that story. Reporting live from the Spirit Squad Worldwide. Bob from Channel 8. Bob. Bob. Chris. Chris. Bob, is your mic on? It's on. Chris Brown appears to have spoken out about a reported altercation at his birthday party on Friday night that involved Usher. In an Instagram comment that was apparently from Brown34 and reposted by a Twitter fan account, he appeared to deny that anything had happened between him and the 44-year-old singer. Reporting live from the Daily Mail, reporting live, Bob from Channel 8. <laughs> From the Spirit Squad Worldwide. Bob from Channel 8. Bob. Bob. Okay, and that would make sense because I felt like they made up that night, so of course you're going to spin it and say that nothing went down. Next story.